I welcome you to this moment around God's Word and prayer today. This week I want to pray some blessings over you. And one of the most well-known and well-loved blessings in the whole Bible is found in Numbers chapter 6, verse 24. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face towards you and give you peace. This is called the high priestly blessing. God told Moses to give this to the high priest Aaron and to pronounce this blessing over the people of Israel. And we know historically that this blessing became for centuries an important part of Israel's life together. In fact, uh, the famous archaeologist Gabriel Barkai uh, discovered uh, back in the 1970s uh, two little silver scrolls in the vicinity of Jerusalem about the size of a small cigarette. And on those silver scrolls, dating back to the 6th or 7th century BC, was this, this high priestly blessing. And by that time, it would already be centuries after Moses gave it to the people of Israel. So from the time of Moses to the judges, through the kings, through the reign of King David, the reign of King Solomon, and, and then even a couple of centuries later to, uh, to, to the 6th or 7th century BC, we, we know that this blessing was an important part of Israel's life, and it's a powerful blessing. It's probably the most common way that church services are ended today. And, and let's just look at it again. It starts this way. May the Lord bless you and keep you. This is, this is God's heart for you both his provision, may he bless you. For Israel, this would mean, mean may, may he send rain on your crops at the right time. And, 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 and may, may he cause your livestock and your cattle to prosper and to grow. May in every way, God just extend his goodness to you. May he bless you in his provision. And may he keep you. That would be his protection. Israel was always threatened by their enemies around and yet God could be a shield about them and be their protection. I pray God will be your provision today and your protection today. And then this powerful image of the face of God. For after saying the Lord bless you and keep you, he said, may the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and to be gracious to you. It's a wonderful thing when somebody looks us in the eye. It's a wonderful thing when somebody just focuses on us. And can you imagine this, that God wants to just look directly at us. He wants to turn his face to us. And when he turns his face to us, he said, may, may his face just shine towards you. It reminds us of Psalm 80, verse 3, where David, King David himself prayed, Lord, would you restore us? Would you revive us again and make your face shine upon us? The shining of God's face, his attention towards us in gracious ways, in life-imparting ways, in restoring ways, in reviving ways. May he make his face shine upon you today and be gracious to you today. And then his face again. And may he turn his face toward you and give you peace. In the scripture, when God turned his face away from people, it was a sign of his displeasure and his judgment. But when his face is turned towards us, we have peace. We have that sense that we're right with God. And, and Jesus came to be our peace. And, 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 and he, he becomes the shining of God's face towards us so that we can be forgiven in Christ. And so, one more time, may the Lord bless you and keep you, his protection and his provision. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you, his restoring, reviving work in your heart today. And, and may the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Our Father, we pray that that will be our story today. Thank you for all your good intentions wrapped up in this powerful blessing. And may the Lord indeed, for everyone listening today, May the Lord bless and may the Lord keep. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon us. Be gracious to us, O Lord. Turn your face towards us and give us peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm.